Hey there guys, this is Flamzeron, aka YouTube's Tosca, and you want to know what game I'm excited about the most for E3? Dragon Ball Xenoverse. You thought it was going to be Exilia 2 or Hearts R Bloodborne, but no, it's Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and let me tell you why. Uh, Dimps is making it, for one thing, which I'm really happy about, because they made the Budokai games, and I generally prefer the Budokai games over Raging Blast and, and Tinkaichi and whatnot and Battle of Z. I thought those were probably the best of the Dragon Ball fighting games. And I'm glad to see them uh, come back and make it. Even if it looks like they're going for a Raging Blast kind of overall feel. I feel I watched some gameplay footage and it looks like they're trying to combine the Budokai battle system with Raging Blast. Sort of like they're trying to Saint Seiya Brave Soldiers the Dragon Ball franchise. Which I think is an interesting approach and I think it'll be really fun. Um... I think the story in particular is going to be really interesting with the whole future fighter guy that we keep seeing who's wearing like Trunks's uh, Capsule Corporation outfit, but also has like a a white um, scarf and the red hair and the scouter, <clears throat> as well as a Time Patrol Trunks making an appearance, which makes me wonder how this is going to connect with uh, Dragon Ball Online. I mean, I Akira Toriyama did work on that, and I assume that it's going to become an actual thing now. So it makes me wonder if character customization is going to play a part in this. I'm really interested in how that they're going to pull off. I feel like it will. I feel like that's something they could really pull off at this point. And if they make you let you make more than one character, that'd be kind of cool. And I think the battle system would lend itself well to really fun combinations. And I, I still hope that there's like just a regular uh, Dragon Ball fighting uh, story mode and whatnot, and hopefully an arcade mode as well. Um, I think I would really uh, enjoy that because in Dragon Ball games, I found I well at least what I did with Ultimate Tenkaichi, I just played through the story mode first, and then I did hero mode. If they do let you make your own character, I hope they uh, give you a chance to give your character a weapon because I wanted to give my guy Trunks a sword just to kind of have like just an extra style like oh he's a martial artist but he can also use a sword and if they're going to go the character creation route I hope they let you make other people besides a Saiyan like if you want to make a human or a Namekian or a Majin or a Frieza character or an android <coughs> I think it would have a lot of interesting potential especially if they let you do like different training and whatnot because you know with Kaioken you know Anyone can learn that. You don't have to be a Saiyan to learn Kaioken, so that could be like your your supplement to uh, Super Saiyan for a character that doesn't actually have the heck. You could be a Namekian and and uh, have Kaioken or, or go Super Namekian out and then go... I don't know if that's necessarily a thing, though, but you could uh, basically be really powerful and... Uh, Go Kaioken, or with Frieza, the Frieza, you you could have upgrade to like your final form, full power, 100%, and then go Kaioken. That'd be cool. I'll probably end up making a Saiyan or something for my main guy. But if you can make more than one character, I'll have to. <clears throat> I'll have to. I'll probably make a lot of my uh, some of my other OCs. It'd be really cool. I think I'd make a Frieza character though. I feel like. And when it comes to Dragon Ball, the Frieza race of, is like basically the Dark Elf of the Dragon Ball franchise. So I actually want to make one of those. I think that'd be really cool. But uh, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, um, Time Patrol Trunks I think has some pretty cool potential. I don't think you'll be able to play as him. If and if you do, it'll just be a costume for future Trunks. But if they're going to do that, I wonder how many GT characters are going to come in. <clears throat> It'll be interesting if they just, this game just has all different kinds of characters and and like different ages, like if they have GT Trunks as well, which I think would be kind of cool because I like GT Trunks. Without the trench coat, at least. Um... I think I don't... This, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, really. I, I think the battle system is going to be really fun because it looks like they're going for like the behind the shoulder sort of brave soldiers slash Naruto game slash raging blast battle system, but the attacks they look more 
not only do the speed, but also like just the attacks in general, like the way Goku punches and kicks. It looks like they're trying to be more like the Budokai games, and I think that's kind of cool. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to this game. I think it's going to be awesome. I'll be sure to pick it up, and I'll play it, and I'll review it for you guys, and it's going to be awesome. But, uh, yeah, I think that's really all I can say. You have to excuse the short videos that I've been doing. I've been, I'm doing this like I'm recording like the last three, or I guess technically four spoilers, um, like in one session, and it's late at night, so or later than how I've been staying up lately. So you'll have to forgive my my uh, booty hole, but I think uh, I think you guys will enjoy these videos, or I hope you will for those who just like to hear me talk about things I like, but, yeah, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, it's gonna be awesome, I'm gonna play the shit out of it when it comes out, this is Flames Ron, aka YouTube Sasuke, signing out, see you later, and Kamehameha, no, I'm kidding, see you guys later.